Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I just wanted to do one of my like go-to night out sort of glam looks just because I know people like to see things like that and I've been doing like quite creative things recently. I wanted to do something a little bit more wearable. So if this looks like something you'd enjoy then please keep on watching and there'll be a new video up in a few days. Let's get started. Okay, so to begin with, I just used the Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer in Ivory to prime my lids. And then I just went into the Balm Palette and took that shade. It's Matte Lin. And then I'm just gonna put some tape down so we have a precise line. And then I'm just gonna go in with this Makeup Obsession Blush in the shade Bloom and just use this as our transition shade. And then I'm just gonna take Matte Kumar from the Balm Palette and just place this in the crease and buff it out. And then I'm just gonna go into that brown shade which is called Matte Reed and then just place this underneath that ready shade and again buff it out. And then I'm just gonna go in with Makeup Geek's Cherry Cola just to intensify the red. And then I'm just gonna go in with Matte Ahmed which is just a black and then just start deepening that outer V. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the concealer we started with and just cut the majority of the crease. I'm then going to go into the BH Cosmetics palette, the Foil Eyes I think it's called or something like that. And then I'm just going to take that foil shade and then just place this on top of where we put the concealer. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with this lighter shade as well. And then I'm just going to take more of that black just to blend everything all together and to continue to deepen that outer V. And then I'm going to take Morphe's Gel Liner in Slate and then just create my liner. I'm going to make it quite thick but quite straight and I'm not going to wing it out either I'm just going to sort of blend it into that black by taking some of that black shadow again I'm then going to go in with some mascara and just coat my lashes until they're pointing at the heavens. And then I'm just going to take the Coco Lashes in Queen Bee and put these on my lids. These are such comfortable lashes, they don't feel like you're wearing them. I'm obsessed. And now for the face, I'm going to take Max Strobe Cream and I'm just going to put this everywhere besides my forehead. Um, I'm going to take the NYX Angel Veil Primer for my forehead just because my forehead is an oily zone. I'm then going to take the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This foundation is bomb. I'm obsessed with this foundation and I just put it on my face as you can see. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm just going to take Tarte's Shape Tape and put this in the usual standard concealer places and then use a sponge just to blend this in. I'm then going to take Kat Von D's Shades and Light Palette and just take the lighter shade and just use this to set my under eyes and everywhere we put that concealer. I'm then going to take MAC's Studio Fix Powder to set the rest of my face. I'm then going to go in with that medium shade because it's a bit warmer and use this to bronze up my face. Oh my god, the faces I pull. And then I'm just gonna go with like a more cool toned brown and just use this as a contour because that creates like the shadow that we want and just contour my face to death. I'm then just gonna take this Wet n Wild blusher and just blush up the cheeks. And then I'm just gonna take the Balm's Mary Luminizer and just place this on the high points of the face to highlight. And then I'm just gonna go in with that white shade which is from that BH Cosmetics palette and just use this on my brow bone and my inner corner as a highlight. And then I'm just gonna put the Morphe Gel Liner into my eyes and I'm having a hissy fit because my eyes hate it when I put things inside them. And then I'm just gonna take the black on top and then buff it out with some of the red. Invincible. And then I'm just gonna put some mascara on. And then I'm just gonna take Max Yash and put this on my lips and then just put NYX's Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle, I think it is, um, and put this on top. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. So this is the finished look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. I really like how it turned out and I hope you guys also liked how it turned out. If you did enjoy it, then please let me know by liking, commenting or subscribing. It really helps me out. <coughs> it really helps me out and I really appreciate it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in a few days. Goodbye.